<laughs> look, you got to make your money, but you're also like, I'm all about ethics and morals. But oh uh, yeah, it's still on there. I mean, look, what the hour... read a couple of his posts, uh, 21 Studios posts on his community tab. So we can really analyze it. He says, blood sucking red pill hoes have been invading the manosphere. And all of your favorite frauds and blue pill beta males are cool with it. Big simpin' dog. Everything uh -huh. he accuses other people of doing, he's done himself. So, he like, did. example, this trad girl he's marrying, you know you know what I heard before the marriage announcement? Mm. I'm having a baby soon announcement. Mm -hmm. So he got some trad girl pregnant, and then now Knocked he has to her marry up. her. Knocked and he her did up. a whole story about how he married a chick, and it was terrible, and he annulled the marriage. And he's like, I'm never going to do that again. Yep. And now he's doing it again. It's, that's what I what's what what did we say years and years and years ago? Actually, Barbarossa, first guy to come out and say it, was most of these guys claiming this space are one blow job away from going back to the plantation. And yeah. it, it, there he is. He he has announced his engagement and he's got to fund the fucking marriage and the engagement and the expected kid with five hundred dollar consults. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude, close. really. The next post is him making fun of Jonathan Lifestyle, who he had a very friendly relationship <clears throat> with for a while. It's then, still on his channel. I just checked, monetized on the channel, yep. hour and 20 minute special. Mm -hmm. He didn't shit on the guy, which is fine, but yet keep the old videos on there. So his last post is his channel. And what he said is, you guys are getting triggered. Or he didn't say you guys, he just said triggered. And it's, you can now get one-on-one -on -one consulting for $500 an hour with the founder of 21 Studios, Coach Stream, at this one. So let's read some of the comments Please do. Oh. If that doesn't include dinner and a sex act, you overshot your price point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, five hundred bucks an hour, dude. Really? Jesus, That's ridiculous! Fucking can I, can, the, the fucking incredulousness of something like this—it's just off the charts, man. Well, it's, what's funny too is like you know I know a lot about the scientific and medical field, and every time I talk to some of these coaches who do. The money, right? Like 500, 600 bucks, whatever it is, a thousand bucks an hour. I go, so a cardiothoracic surgeon will probably get paid close to four or 500 bucks an hour. An ER, an ER surgeon or an emergency surgeon is like two, 300 bucks. But let's just say, let's go advanced, like someone who do a heart transplant. Oh, do I see think, another good comment. Like, this guy says, oh, sorry, Chronic. Maybe let me finish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. okay. It's okay. Like, look. Dream, uh, Anthony Dream Johnson. Do you think talking to someone for an hour is more useful than someone giving you a new fucking heart? Now, every single time I ask that question, unironically, the pickup roaches and the coaches, they look into the they look into the kid and go, Yes, it is. I could change yes. someone's life. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> change someone's life. These people are saving someone's life. They don't get a life if they don't get that. And they're like, no, no. But like, I, I that one hour will influence their life in such a direction. Like the rest of their years, the rest of their years, it gives them value back. And I'm like, they don't get the rest of the years and they don't get the fucking surgery. They, it, it just goes over them. Fucking delusional is what it is. And m motherfuckers will step up and pay this money expecting some kind of life-changing result, not ever understanding that they are going to be the ones that have to put the fucking work in to, to get it done. Now, now, Ribby, Three words. Hit the gym. Now, Ribby, what was the comment? Done. What was the comment you found? <clears throat> oh, I had a couple. The guy says, never look up in the sky for vultures. They will show themselves when the carcasses are plentiful. Yep. And no, re no, that's a great, no reply that's, to that. That's great. Somebody else says, yeah. LOL, 500 an hour. Lower your price if you don't want it to come off as a snake oil. It obviously <laughs> is. Let me read his response. Let me read his response. He said, well, I yep. made $1,000 for 21 Studios on a 40-minute call yesterday. So what is your time worth? My first client was a YouTube console on Monday. He loved it, and his channel will make more money now. Just admit you're a jelly loser, or go bitch at Richard Cooper for charging four thousand dollars an hour. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me take a monologue. Let me sweat. Wait, come on. Let me let come me, on. Let me drink some mead. Come on. Me time. Viking chronic on that mead game. <laughs> I love Wash it. Down with some beer. Lifestyle. I think you got some. Had a temporary truce for a number of years because you didn't but I rose soon. You married a whore. She played you like the simp you were. You are 
like the boomerous, boomer, fake president bullshitter I've ever seen. I'm the president of the manosphere. There is no president of the manosphere. You support democracy if you think you're a president. You are pathetic. A thousand dollars an hour for what? Let me talk to this big-eared, cuck, chipmunk-looking beta who is associated with every single traitorous bitch in the fucking manosphere. Every single one. It's like, it's like, and I have a really good restaurant. Every single known disease from eating bad food has been found at your restaurant. You're not a good cook. You're not an alpha male. You are a scam artist. And now that you're married, you got a little kid gestating, you need to get on your hands and knees like the dog you are and fucking rip these sips apart for as much money as possible. Fuck you. <sighs> Couldn't have said it better it myself. Get it out of your system there. You know, it's funny because he, he, he blocked me on Twitter after I called him Anthony Wet Dream Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> there's no coming oh, back from terrible. this. There's just no coming back from this. No, there isn't. But there's going to be a line of people uh, that are still going to offer that cash to him. You know what's funny, too? What's really funny? Anthony Dream Johnson has more minutes of under chronic talking being monetized on YouTube than under chronic does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> That's fucking, dude. I just scrolling through hilarious. the comments. People aren't really buying what he's selling. At like, no, they're not. An hour too. I mean, like, even fifty an hour. That would be like still kind of absurd. But like, maybe they're, they're tearing him up, man. Yeah, Hammerhand said, hundred, "Hey, dude. it's a deal. Cooper gets a thousand, and Anthony Jim Johnson says, "Hey, Hammerhand, cry harder." Anthony Johnson. Oh, I, I didn't see that part though. Anthony Jim Johnson. Let's 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 look at this. You have half a million. We can win this. Your videos are getting less views than mine. Three weeks ago. That's a fucking amazing. Than, three weeks ago, less than 2,000 views. And it's not like he's a talking all these videos. He's having other people talk and give their best speeches. You know what's weird? He brags about the views and the mon and the shekels. But if you look at his actual videos, like it doesn't really add up with what he's saying. I mean, maybe because he has so many backlog. But to me, it's like his new stuff doesn't really... Is not all that in terms of crazy views. I don't know. Bought subs, maybe? Bought subs? I, I'll say it. He probably bought his sub. I mean, that's why he needs to buy more to stay relevant. So that's why he's charging 100 bucks an hour. I guess. He coached Craig it's a Adams, lot of fucking money. Coach Ray Adam Adams, Donna Cup dude, Chart. I, yeah. D dude, I Andrew remember one Tate. thing he did, which I was kind of surprised at that YouTube didn't care. He did like when I used to do shorts, but I'd react to them. Except he doesn't react to them. He just takes them all from TikTok, puts puts uh, ads on it, and then just runs it. And it gets a ton of views. So he was making so much money, basically just copy and pasting and comp compiling uh, other compilations. Stuff, yeah, which is kind of like that's his like, best. Well, it's his best talent. Nobody cares about what he has to say. Not saying anything new. Yeah, he's clearly not masculine. Larping like he's masculine. I mean, look, he straight up got baby trapped by some fake red pill hoe. And then it starts talking about how red pill hoes are bad. Bitch. Yeah. And also, too, he made like a whole he's like, I, I, I wrote a book. What was it like marrying Medusa? How I married a female psychopath. I'm never going to make that mistake again. OK, well, you're gonna here we roasted. are, right? You're really. How, how long did that take? What, about two years? Yeah, Anthony, literally. Uh, years Anthony Dream years. Johnson. What's the hymen status on your future wife? Violated. <laughs> it's, it's violated, homie. He wasn't the first one there. Hell only no. about uh, 26 previous owners, uh, two accidents, and the wheels are I, mostly I guess, intact. I guess since this is a hobby for me, it's not a job, I can afford to be a purist, right? When I say no hymen, no diamond. I mean, he has all these, these campaigns and these videos of this merch, make women virgins again, make women virgins again. Ain't no damn way in hell he found a virgin. Got her pregnant and then they get married. Nope, nope. She no, would make him bro. wait for marriage. In no, there's, Florida, there's no Florida chicks, no less. Way. They're like the next to New York and California. Florida chicks are the worst. Yeah, Maybe even Florida worse. chicks are pretty bad, bro. Yeah, I, I grew up there. I spent thirty years there. Yeah, the Florida chicks are pretty bad. Bro, probably had yep. a couple alligators in that Puniti hole. Who knows? Oh, oh but let me tell you Jesus what, Christ. Okay, let's let's <laughs> respond. Let's respond to his the website. The green skins are getting all over the place. 
Let's respond to his uh, stupid website because you know none of these guys make a decent website. <sighs> He's gonna be so upset. I was betrayed by Under Chronic. I'm like, bro, if you charge people five hundred bucks an hour over bullshit, you deserve to get roasted. There's just no. You deserve to get roasted for all of this hardcore shit that you've been saying for years, and then you turn around and get married again. It's like, wait, so let's just look into his eyes here. I see the eyes of a doe. I see the eyes of an animal that's going to get sent to the slaughterhouse. It's a dead man. Let's do a futures bet. I'm going to put a hundred bucks down that his marriage ain't lasting more than 15 years. I was going to say five. I was going to say five. Yeah. Well, it's a safer bet, you know, 15. Maybe it's like you could, you get a better reward if it's five or a better reward if it's five months or, you know, when the baby comes out a darker skin <laughs> That's like tone. saying uh, in 57 years, I bet this bitch ain't married again. Or, or you know, <laughs> like, you know, it could be like a year if the, the kid comes out and it's just like, mm, it was like three, five, six, eight skin tones too dark to make sense. <laughs> the baby's oh, green. What oh, the hell? God, could you imagine? It's like time to make the I Married Medusa part two and make more money. Let's read this. I'm Anthony Dream Johnson. Found, or Johnson. I, okay, I'm Wet Dream Johnson, founder of the 21st, 21 Convention, CEO of 21 Studios. Okay, here's the thing. If you say you're the founder of something, saying you're the CEO of something afterwards is not a flex. It's kind of like the same thing, yeah. typically. It's the same yeah. fucking thing. I'm first president. I mean, if you control the, the money, you're the CFO too, right? I'm the first yeah. president of the Manosphere. That is such a stupid, cringy title. He's been calling himself for years now. I don't remember voting. Come on. Yeah. I don't vote, but anyway. I'm the man who created the campaign to make women great again. A live event and viral media storm that hit national headlines and millions of feminist heads explode. Yeah. So we did the Make Women Great Again event. And because the leftist media attacked him ruthlessly, that's what got him big. Mm-hmm. Also, he said in 2000, oh, 2006 is when it started. But when did that even happen? That was years before Ruby existed. So that must have been like a while ago now. I don't know. In yeah, 2000, dude, I was in high school. So 2013 is like a decade ago now. In 2006, at just 17 years old, I began building what is now the longest running number one Manosphere event in the world. My work since then has helped over 100 million men become more masculine. <laughs> What? Where is he getting how, those stats? How do you know that? Where does that come <laughs> 100 from? million. I, I do like. I think how do you every know? Time, is, think, is that is that based on views? Nah. Based on views. So one dude watched his video, and then instantly, it's like Spider Man, where he wakes up and he's buff and he doesn't need glasses. I watch his view, and like my balls drop a little more. Like I get how, how the fuck do you know that it's 100 it gets, million it gets men worse. watching the channel? It, it gets you know? worse. I hope oh, the 100 okay. million men become more masculine. Stop being beta losers. <laughs> Dang hot chicks. Bang, oh, wait, okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Wait, let's continue. I help them bang hot chicks, build families, and reach <clears throat> the alpha male within. There's a couple of Can those things that don't make sense. Thrusting, like banging a dude doggy. He's there like, come on, you got this, bro. Like spotty him. <laughs> it's like coaching him. He's like, I'm helping men build hands. families. Back but, in there. It's like, I'm helping men build families, but also bang hot chicks. Those are kind of two very different things. I'm glad that like, you I'm guys were willing party. to give this motherfucker the benefit of the doubt way back when, because I never was. It's like Ribby, Ribby. I'm helping. I'm I'm helping men, right? You know how I'm helping men. I'm helping men funnel and also drive home safely. It's like what? <laughs> exactly. right? what, are you, what are you talking about, bro? Liquor funnel and drive home safely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Felcher, get over here. I will now help you do the same personally. Live event counseling. Okay, let's look at this. Okay. Look at all these dudes desperately trying to make their arms look like they can actually curl more than 50 pounds. They're flexing so hard. It's the most <sighs> pathetic pose. Even the, the biggest guy here is probably this guy. And he curls like 45, and that's what he reps. He's like, I'll do 10, I'll do, I'll do five sets of 45 curls on each arm. Dude, this so is just sad how, looking. It's like how many of these guys do you night? think are going to come out down the road, literally come out, and then uh, be discovered as being low-key forgots? This guy right something here, else this guy right here the beard is overcompensating for some kind of cockatry. I know it. Oh, yeah, dude, the guy on the right? Yeah, yeah, next yeah. To, next to uh, Anthony. I called it, dude. Yeah, the the beard's a little much. Yeah, he's fl- and how much is he's that? That of fucking pastor down there on the bottom, over on the left, middle left. You even told the chicks to put their arms together, make a rip. Like what? <laughs> like what is this? Patriarch yeah. convention. <sighs> and then we got our favorite uh, cuck uh, on the coach, whatever coach on cuck. the Greg coach Adams. Cuckle. Yeah, 
Adams is over there. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to shut down this stream if you so, don't like it, man. So fucking goofy. It's embarrassing. This picture is as cringe as the CME conference. They're all walking with the sunglasses on. A Vegas pussy massacre crew. It's, oh. it's a little <laughs> less cringy than that, but like in that ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> that is the stupidest shit. Oh my god, I just so that's something stupid. I would come up with if you're like 17 drinking with your buddies and you laugh about it just because how stupid it is. But then to actually do that and brag as a grown ass man, it's like, I what mean, the it's, fuck? it sounds like something off of Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> it's, it's so terrible. Stupid. He says, yeah. terrible. he says, since 2006, I built and operated 27 live events across three continents. Five countries and eight cities, primarily for men, but also fathers and women with select special events. In terms of building mastery events, I am the undisputed world champion of an entire industry. So who's your competition been? If you're the champion of this, no, who was the competition that you defeated or, or misplaced? Who was it? Just Donovan Sharp at Cucking Made Easy. That's been his only competition. <laughs> it That's was it. nobody. Th this is all self-proclaimed. All this is is a bunch of fucking hot air hey, to victimize guys that are fucked up. Ribby. It's like saying I'm the master of juggling invisible <laughs> hey, dishes. Hey. You just can't tell because you're invisible. But trust hey, me, bro. hey, Ribby, when I um, whenever I go on a cruise with my parents and grandparents, yeah, you know I'm the uncontested bench press champion on a cruise with the average age is sixty. <laughs> wow, that's a flex. Uh, Yo, no no dunk, one's beating me. Even with the tides turning, like if the boat leans to the left, my left pick gets more work. If the boat leans to the right, my right pick gets more work. But no one's getting more work than you see in the shitty cruise weight room. I'd love it if a Jack Grandpa came in with like old man strength and gave you a run for your money, though. That'd be entertaining. I, I mean, I did see there's one. A, I did see one Jack Grandpa, but then he went to the gym. He was like curling ten. And I kind of looked at his arms. I'm like, oh, he's got silicone implants on his biceps. Ugh, gross. I mean, dude, <laughs> I've known a couple of older dudes that are just hella strong, though, with that old man strength. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Have you, uh, have you seen this, uh, the way that he's got the split here on the full hour and the 30 minutes? No, wait, let's, let's continue. He says, <laughs> yeah, he says yeah, if full you hours. want to start no, let me first say. time event, I can help you. If you want to go into this thing event, I can help you, blah, blah, blah. My live consulting rate is $500 an hour or $300 for 30 minutes. Ooh, you save a hundred bucks if you go for the five hundred. I mean, what a that deal! Must, that's an excellent fucking trick. Does he suck you off too? Because uh, uh, that's t that's five times more than what you pay for a hooker. No, not hammer, hammer. You got a you got a handy J for three hundred for the three. Oh minutes. shit! The oh, sucker man. doesn't come unless you go for the full hour. That's oh, hey, Ruby, how many views that's were you catch. getting a month at the peak of your channel? Dude, I got one. Uh, that one where the chick was like, with their sleeping with their ass up in the air. That got, oh man, we've gotten like a million views a month. I don't even know how many. I think it got like seven or eight million views just on that one short. I was getting a ton of views. I don't remember off the top of my head. And the analytics are gone. Thanks, Susan. But a lot, a lot of views. Trust me, bro. I mean, you, man, it could vouch for it. He had access to my channel. I don't know the exact numbers, but a lot. So he says, big tech feminazis fully demonetized us in late 2021. I fought back in one on an appeal in less than 24 hours. I did the impossible and beat big tech in a head on fight for my channel. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't wait, 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 so, so disputing a demonetization status is something that only you have done. Oh, yeah. The wow. greenskins have done it, but yet haven't pulled it off somehow <clears throat> yet. He has, I don't know. I read somewhere that he might, you know, be have some connections oh, no. with the right he kind starts, of people. It, it, he's doing what every single coach does. What's a coach say? I'm the best coach. Other coaches are bullshit. He says, I've seen YouTubers offering coaching with as little as 50K subs in two years' experience. This is trivial and fraudulent nonsense. These people are retarded goofballs and hucksters who know <laughs> jack shit about building a channel. Oh my God. This dude's dude, talking. It's this YouTube, dude's, not brain surgery. This, Calm this, yourself down, bro. This dude is flexing like a middle schooler, you know, hyping himself up for a Call of Duty match. I have Feels so many way. YouTube subs, no, literally no one cares. And take it from a guy that had twice as many subs as Chronic, subs and good engagement are not the same thing. Like, I get like two, 300 people on a stream, and then, you know, the shorts are good. But Chronic get like, dude, but I remember he, you streaming with somebody with a million subs, and you would have like, two or three K on a stream and they would have like a hundred dude. He so, says subs don't really mean that much. He says, I have 23 videos with over a million views. Ruby, you had like 50. I don't know about 50. I had at least five with over a million. No, and that I, one I told you that your channel. You, you had a booty ton. He says the highest YouTube video in the mass sphere with over 12 million views. Okay. Whatever. Consulting alpha male consulting. Wait, look at the picture of Andrew Tate here. 
They got Alvin and the Chipmunks telling you how to be a fucking man. This is hilarious. This goofball, no chin, big ass teeth, goofy motherfucker. <laughs> He's looking like Ed from Ed and Nettie with that big goofy smile. His does noodle. He have, oh, does he have an ear? Wait, does he have an earring on? This beta has an earring on. I, I can't even tell. But dude, if you <clears> notice, if you go up, he's doing a little a little psychology trick. The full hour is blue. What does blue represent? You're masculine. You're boy. You're manly. Pink, it's like a little pink, like you're not pregnant this month. Pink like a pussy, like a girl. That's very much, uh, he's trying to do some clever psychological trick he read in a book somewhere. The blue is like, you're fucking manly. The right. pink, only a half hour consulting, you're pink. You're a woman. You're a fucking this, girl. Okay. Anthony's like pitch for Alpha Male Consulting is actually more cringe than any other pickup artist I've seen. You want me to Let's read this? I do will it. teach you how to stop being a beta fag and start being an alpha asshole with women that will send you nudes as well as daily prayers to your penis. Wow, is that Jesus for real? Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> this is so cringy. Oh my God. Wow. Anthony, you can't, you, you can't say betrayed you when you write stupid shit like this, bro. He's kind of like embraces the cringe. Like, he'll make all those memes. People are like, "That's cr you're cringy as fuck, bro. And he's like, LOL. Like, well, I'm in on it, though. Like, I, it, I'm being cringe on purpose. So that makes it okay. Like, it's not really funny. It's kind of like if you're just a clown. Like, if you're all physical comedy, you're just falling over. Slaps, it could be funny in the right doses. But if you're just a complete fucking moron, like, you got to at least be clever with it. I don't he, know. He says, he says that dating, coaching, profession is infested with blood-sucking frauds and parasites. Okay, that's like me saying, hey, Hammerhand. Sir, sir. The, the profession of selling mineral oils to white women in coffee shops is mm -hmm. infected with frauds and parasites. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're all frauds and parasites, aren't they? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. like, yeah, that's not you're saying much. He says, do you want to bang turbo sluts that are basically tits on a stick? And this half of this dude's shtick is that he's a traditional Christian. Yeah. What yeah. a joke, dude. Um, like, that's literally look, half of his shtick. Reading through this, it, number one, it's fucking cringy. It's asshole puckering oh, to read through so this. Bad. And then thinking that any person out there takes this seriously enough to pay this motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that shows you where men are, and it shows you why guys like this are in this space, because they know that they can violate these poor fucking bastards, and they do it. I feel since bad for two, the guy. Since like the one or two guys out there reaching for their wallet, like, what a deal. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ, so bro. Put so that money into literally anything else. 2006, I spent thousands upon thousands of hours studying masculinity, obviously not in the gym, banging hot women, no fatty... What a, if what you a piece want to be shit. a heathen, right? Like Chronic would be like, "Oh, I banged some goth chick at the bar last week." Be like, Chronic, it's not very, it's not very lordly or holy of you. I'm like, it happens. A man she says, had three holes. I filled all of them. But I'm not saying it's all good. Do you want to bang turbo sluts? I'm a traditional <laughs> Christian. I'll pay me and I'll teach you how to fuck whores. It's like pay me and I'll teach you how to buy Skittles from Walmart. Good God. Yeah. Shout out James Von Maxwell in the chat. <sighs> Hamster in the house. He says, I've been honing my skills with women through trial and error. <laughs> yeah, you failed your first marriage. <laughs> it's yeah, a list like Ali Drummond talking about how to be a traditional wife when she's got one fucking dead and buried marriage. She's an admitted fucking whore. She's tatted up. And then she married somebody 25 fucking years older than her. Didn't you say Ugh. her man was a doctor? Yeah, he, yeah he's, 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 he's not. He's a Dude, that's he, literally like he's me. like a doctor's he, assistant, right? He is a physician's assistant. He's a physician's assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a secretary, basically. But dude, what I was gonna say, it's kind of like if you have one failed marriage already under your belt, and he's still relatively young, and you're trying again for another. That's like literally being like Ruby's a driver's ed coach, and I'm like, all right, kid, you're in good hands. I've only had six accidents in the last five years. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. He says, hey, Doc, uh, can you I've learned no, no, no. I've learned it. firsthand from the best speakers in the world on issues facing men in the process. So who? wait, does who, that who those speakers the include Coach Greg Adams, Jack Murphy, Donovan Sharp, Donovan Sharp, know? yep, John Anthony Lifestyle? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Bull cuff mindset. The list goes on. It's like uh, it's, you know, it's long it's like, and distinguished, it, right? Hey, 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 Hammerhand. 
I Sir. spent two years studying or hanging out with death row grapists from the worst precincts <laughs> in the world, and I learned a lot about consent. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot about what it looks like when you're in the chair. Anyway. Oh, good God, man. This he is, says, this is I've so built a media bad. empire. Okay, calm down. Now. Really? Really? Imagine really calling your work. YouTube channel a media empire. Like, come on, dude. I, get I, uh, I smell but... my own farts, and it's only Cheerios and Roses. <laughs> I go with the uh, Frosted Flakes. That's just me. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, no, Reno Reggie. <laughs> yeah. So, Ray. so, um, Donnie the Lifestyle. Or, I keep on mixing them up. Anthony Dream Johnson. Uh, you're pathetic. It's man. easy to mix them you're, up. You're, They're you're almost pathetic. the same fucking uh, person. Like, I know. In two years, I think it's been a year and a half since we talked to him. Two years, Ribby. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. It was when I was brand new. So it was, tw- it was like, That's yeah, two about, two, about two years ago or yeah. even more. Yeah, lock and change. Kind of like the Batman change. quote: "You either die a hero, or you live long enough to become the villain. You yeah. either die a Chad, you die based, or you live long enough here, to see yourself here, become here's, a cuck and or Here's the modern world. version, Ribby. Yeah, you either get your channel banned, or you get enough views to start selling coaching calls. Oh, imagine Ouch. if I made it to 150 or 200. You just wake up one day, you're like, Ribby. I'm like, I'm Coach Rigby, the red pill dating fraud now. The product's just like, no. Now, now, if Ribby did coaching, <laughs> if Ribby did coaching for like $300 an hour and it was coaching you how to drink alcohol and they'd call in, they'd be like, it was like, okay, now, now, uh, now take off the lid. Okay. Now, now open your mouth. Okay. Now pour in your mouth and swallow. Okay. That's, that's my coaching. That'd be hilarious. Now, and I, I, I promote that. I promote that. Ribby will I teach you how to drink. I was coaching Chad, uh, Chaz. That's why he was drinking Everclear the last couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, coaching's uh, gone well. So yeah, once you start coaching, once you get once you get a chick pregnant before you marry her, and you you, you sell a course on how to bang turbo sluts with tits with tits on a stick, and the whole time you're saying America needs God again. I don't yeah. take you seriously no, anymore. N- I know, nope. no, and you can't. And this, come on, guys, let's think about this for a second. What can you do? With 500 hard-earned dollars, you can get a very decent escort to come and rough up your penis, take care of business for you, and then you're not an incel. Yeah, a couple ounces of top-shelf marijuana. Absolutely. fucking you If probably, you're into you it. Probably get a, you could probably get like a 38 ACP or like a shitty Glock. If you're into it, if you're into those things, there is a fucking ton that you can do with $500 instead of sit around and listen to some fucking jag off that will tell you how to be a man when he's not himself acting like a man. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, I mean, yes, like, I, I, this isn't surprising, though. Like, it, if no, even, Anthony could have turned into a cuck. He could have turned into a gay stripper. He could have started selling coaching calls and none of that would surprise me. No, it